Hi guys, Keith from Divorce the Horse here. And today we're going to talk about putting in our curtains in our van. Now you'd think that would be an easy thing, and I thought so too. Just grab a couple of curtain rods, get the, you know, the little hooks that they mount on, and screw them into the wall, done deal. No. <laughs> Let me show you why. Okay, the problem is, is that these ends are flat, and your wall is curved. There's not enough pressure to hold your curtain rods in place. So what you're going to have to do is this. You're going to have to go to the store. Hopefully you already have one of these because you need one of these to put these uh, sheet metal screws in the wall. Um, and it's just handy to have. Worth the money, you guys, to get these battery-operated um, tools, especially if you're living off-grid in your van or your RV. Tools are nice, and having power for them is great, too. So get yourself some of those things. But anyway, see what this here is. is is It's a coat hook that goes on your wall. It's just a cheap little dollar, $2 coat hook. It doesn't have to be fancy or expensive. Um, I'm going to put those on the wall in my van and then rest the curtain rod in those hooks. And then that will solve my problem. Now, these are the size of the sheet metal screws I'm using to put in the... Uh, wall brackets which are just meant for hanging coats on and let me tell you what a pain in the butt this is this is hard work I mean you got to start that drill and you got to hold that screw in place and it eats into your finger and you got to push hard and drill fast that's the only way to break through metal otherwise you'll be there all day and there's the result one coat hanger on the wall in with sheet metal screws Run across the top here, one over here, and I'll just hang the curtain rod across, and it's a done deal. And as you can see, my curtains are now up. Much better, much better. And it was kind of a pain in the butt, because let me tell you, pieces for your house aren't meant to fit for pieces of your van. I'm going to get one of those drape ties, so when I'm not using it, I could tie it back, and it won't get in the way of my windows. And that's why I didn't tint the back windows. I wanted to be able to see out the darn things at night when I'm driving. Very important in these bigger vehicles. Now that the curtains are in, the next step is to uh, carpet this wheel well because it's just ugly as sin, and I didn't really know what to do with it. So we're going to cover that up. I got some double-sided uh, carpet tape. I'm just going to put that in place and then fit the pieces, and it should hold it down. It'll look much better. So basically, uh, what we're going to do is you cut out your carpet to size, and you're going to get some uh, double-sided carpet tape found at any place that sells carpeting or Menards or a hardware store like that. Uh, it, it works like the uh, stuff that you put on around your window to seal it in with plastic. You know, one side has um, got a piece of paper over it and you put the other adhesive side down and then rub it in really good and then you just peel off the paper and then the back side is ready to go. So uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like here. So as you can see, we uh, put the carpet tape down I made sure that it got indented into the dents in the wheel well there. So, you know, laying it down gradually, not just throwing it on top and then patting it down, but laying it down as you go and smoothing it into all the cracks as you lay it out. Uh, next, we're going to pull those uh, tops off and adhere the carpet. And here's the final product on the curtain rods. They're in. I'm going to get those tie-ups so I can tie them up and mount them to the wall when I'm driving so I can see out my back window. As you can see right now, this is the interior view of my place uh, with the border wall in. Um, I have a hook over there on the left-hand side above the bed where I hang a jacket. That plugs that hole next to the bed. And, well, there's nothing to see over on this side, so I don't worry about it. Uh, now I only have to block up those windows at night. I also used, you can't see it here, but up in the corner, but I used really powerful magnets to... Uh, adhere the uh, curtain to the side of the box right in here, right in this area right here on this metal. Uh, and they are so strong and they're hard to pull apart. Those are the kinds you need. And then they just tack everything right down in place and seal it up so no light gets out. And uh, that's basically a quick rundown. Um, next thing, all this junk, which was in my blue van, uh, is going to go. I'm going to put a wood dresser there and uh, all that stuff will go into the dresser and uh, we'll figure out how we anchor that down. So guys, what do you think? Please leave a comment in the space below 
And always remember to share, like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so that you can watch more videos. And you can also see there to the left how my uh, wheel hub carpet job turned out down there in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. Um, Got to do the other one yet, but it looks much nicer than that big white piece of metal in the way. And anyway, that's it. That's today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember to keep the good fight, work hard, follow your dreams. You're on your own now, so you can do crazy stuff like this. And uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because it's made all the difference.